What's up everybody? Welcome to the second Catfish Blues riff breakdown that I'm doing. So this one I played in the intro and in standard, but right now I'm tuned to half step down. You could play either way, I just wanted to ver uh, clarify that. Okay, so the way this riff starts out sounds like this. Okay, so the way you're gonna play that is I have my middle finger on the second fret on the D string just keep it there for to start out and you're gonna hit the uh, low E open then you're gonna hit that D chord with your middle finger finger on it and you're gonna you're gonna hit it and then pull off okay then I bring my ring finger to the third fret on the low E hit that then again you hit the open D this time and you hammer on with your middle finger okay so it's and then the open E again And then the next part, right after you hit that open low E, you're gonna take your ring finger, hit the second fret on the, I'm sorry, third fret on the B string, and then you do that bend lick again. So it's gonna be second fret on the G. You're gonna just bend up and down, and then do a pull off. on the D string on the second fret. Okay, so it's So then yeah, you just keep repeating that. You, I do it 3 times all the same way and then on the fourth time I, I do this. So to do that, I slide from the second to the fourth fret on the G string with my middle finger. And then with my pointer finger, you hit the third fret B string. And then you then you slide back fourth to second on the G. Pull off and land on the D on the second fret. And then go right back into it again. And the other way you could play play too is just a, a little a little difference within the riff. Instead of doing, you just bend up on the second fret on the G, and then then you pluck it again and bend down, and then do the pull off and land on the G on the D string again on the second fret. So that sounds like this. So yeah, you could kind of throw in different licks within like the main riff of the song. So you could do this one, or you could do this one, or, okay. And then a couple other things I throw in that kind of sounds like you're kind of bringing a solo into it too. The first one, after you do that riff, after you hit that low E open, I slide into the 14th fret on the D string and then you, then it's going to be 12th fret on the G close 
So it's slide into the 14th, 12th on G. Then you're gonna bend on the 14th G. Bend up, bend up and down, then pull up. And then land on the 14th on the D again. And then I slide down. So yeah, after you slide down, you go right back into the riff. Okay, so that kind of sounds like this, up to speed. Okay, so that's how that sounds. Then the second little riff I throw into, into it sounds like this. And the way you do that is going to be 12th fret on the high E. 15th fret on the B, 12th fret on the B, and then you're going to hit the 12th, fr um, 15th fret on the G, but you're going to slide to the 14th fret, so it's, and then 12th fret on the G, 14th fret on the D, and slide, slide down. Okay, so this is how that part sounds played into it. So yeah, you can kind of add any lick you want within the E minor pentatonic scale will work. Um, so those are just a couple ways that I did it, but yeah, that's kind of the main riff. You got the main riff of the song down, so now you kind of improvise and, and uh, bring your own stuff into it also. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the other two Catfish Blues riff uh, breakdowns that I do, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.